There's no shot in hell this is worse than Don't Look Away, right? I hope it's at least interesting. That is something Don't Look Away did not have going for it. I told you I was going to do this. What's the point of it? To die or to enter, like, hell? I don't know. Well, I mean, just based off of what I know, it's like the whole Eliza Lamb situation, right? Whatever that hotel was. But is it ultimately to die or can you, like, visit the underworld and then pop back in the elevator and everything's good? I think it's like a Bloody Mary situation, right? It's just like a little, like, spooky. Ooh. So she has to stop at every floor? Or no, she's she's doing little, like, fucking Konami code that she had on her paper. Have you ever been to a hotel that, quote-unquote, doesn't have a 13th floor? You know, it's something I never thought of until I did the 1408 review. Oh, really? So, is, is that common? It's not super common. I, it also depends on, I think, where you are. But I have been in hotels where numbers on the elevator go to 12, 14. And it's strictly based in superstition. Yeah. Bye. Moment of truth. Buongiorno. Yo non sono italiano, but I do know the coolest word in Italian, and that's un succo d'arancia. It's a tie between that and vaffanculo. Today's sponsor is Babbel, the world's first language learning app and the best selling. Flex. I am making it my goal to learn a new language because I, I just want to learn. We all should keep learning, otherwise this is going to turn into mush. Babbel is scientifically proven by major institutions to help you start speaking a language in just three weeks. 20 day money back guarantee proof is in the pudding. The lessons prepare you for a practical conversation and the lessons are designed by real language teachers. I've been on and off with Babbel, but I still light up because of how much I retain and the fact that I can still tell you that sono le cinque e diciotto. Scusa. I bambini prendono una coca. I bambini prendono una coca. Cosa prende lei? Cosa prende lei? What language would you like to learn? Get 60% off your subscription today when you use my link below in the description. And thank you, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. She's also like nonstop recording, like front facing camera. So a lot of that footage was just like the phone, like, <laughs> I guess it's at her face. I was <laughs> just gonna be like at her side, just like rummaging just like it. like a little downwards angle. <laughs> yeah. What happens if someone gets on while you're attempting this? Is everything ruined? I was thinking about that too. I, I, I guess it's this specific hotel, maybe they're not too busy. Oh, I mean, I know you like feet, but that was not pleasant. <laughs> Those are some crusty toes, baby. I think she was chosen. Oh, it's frozen. Oh. Where are you going? If the movie ended right there, that would be better than everything we saw the other day. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's no way this is worse than Don't Look Away. Welcome to Nightmare on Dare Street. I'm your host, Chris. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh. And with me as always... Did you edit this? <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> Today, we're playing Three Kings, which, when played right, will allow us to talk to the spirit of a dead king. I love when movies try to imitate YouTube editing. I was about to say, it's actually not terribly far off. I, I, I've, seen, I've seen much worse. I'm making a soft protection so never what? Monthly salt offer. Oh, well done. Oh, they went the whole nine yards, huh? Yeah, this isn't bad. If it wasn't with this goofy filter, I, I, it would be pretty much dead on. Mm. Don't forget this episode is sponsored by something green vegetable drink. Even the sponsor. Yeah, huh? did you see that information card at the top right? When we mention the sponsor, we need to see their product. Oh. Ew. Too real. <laughs> you know what's something I'm embarrassingly terrible at when watching movies? Hmm. Is immediately having a distinction between the characters. Every character ends up looking the same to me mm -hmm. until like 30 minutes into the movie. Yeah. Luckily, they've got like an, they've got a pretty diverse four people that I don't, I don't think I'm going to confuse them. I don't know who this guy is, but I'll probably mix that guy and this guy up. This guy looks like a TikToker and it's bugging me. He also looks like the dad from Back to the Future. Is it because of the hairstyle? Is that what you're saying? That? <laughs> yeah, and just kind of like the way he's carrying himself. Just like, dork. I, I actually don't know what your parents want you to do. My parents are wonderful and supportive people. Is this just like a Mr. Beast medium room? <laughs> well, no, they don't have the budget for anything, so it's definitely not Mr. Beast. Oh, so, so my prediction, sorry, I actually was watching the movie. I feel like they're all going to be in the elevator, and it's going to be like kind of like Dante's Inferno type deal, and each floor is going to be like a different theme. Does that make sense? 
I mean, yes, with, with like each floor, you're saying? Yes, yeah. So kind of like as above, so below in the elevator. Yeah, they're going to escape that first floor, and then it's going to stop at like floor nine, and then floor nine is going to be like the dark room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's going to be different themed. In the dark realm. Dark realm. Next episode. Any ideas? You ever heard of this uh, elevator game? <laughs> There's um, a haunted hotel in Sendai, Japan. We could play Hitori Kakurenbo there. Uh, hmm? The fuck did you say? <laughs> He just wanted to show off that he knew what, <laughs> whatever that was. Do people want to see us ride an elevator for 20 minutes? Well, I've been seeing you sit in the same room for 20 minutes. Ouch. Hey! Sometimes you need an escape. <laughs> the most serious face <laughs> to that. <laughs> in case you have any questions, here's my info. Delete contact. <laughs> yeah, right. So I just got my ass handed to me by our. <laughs> I, thought I, was gonna say, I was gonna say ass <laughs> eight. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Completed show in a week? That's impossible. Well, if we don't. So relatable. <laughs> yeah, no. Send those to me when you get them, and I'll preload the graphics. Preload the graphics. What does that? I was gonna mean? ask. What does that mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He said. <laughs> I thought I'll, you knew. He said I'll preload the graphics to save time. I guess she's just doing all the, like overlays before they have any footage. Working the rookie. Fuck him. Someone stops us. Just pretend we're lost tourists. I can do an accent. <laughs> Please don't. What what accent was that, by the way? I can do an accent. Who wants to guess where these? Oh, are those sponsor shirts? Yeah, there's no shot. You know, I unironically love merch from sponsors, so. Yeah, but there's a difference in that and having to wear it for an ad read. Yeah, if you, I mean, forcing me to wear it is one thing, but just giving it to me, I mean, thanks for the shirt. Now, why do you think she's the only one that got a shirt? Like, put the shirt on. She's agreeable. She's a bootlicker. <laughs> <laughs> Push over, no spine. She's gonna have her spine ripped out. Ooh. Chris, don't forget your body mic this time. And don't ask me to help you hide the cord. Fool me once. So this guy just like assaults them. This music in the background is a little distracting, but I, I was gonna ask, who, okay, now it's getting really distracting. <laughs> who, who, who do you think dies first? Ooh, um. I have my answer, but I'll let you go. I don't think it's this guy. You don't think it's Dweebosaurus? No, I think it's Blonde Girl. No, she's, no, I don't know. It might be, <sighs> are they gonna subvert my ex expectations? That's what I'm trying to figure out too. Yeah. I'm going with Dweebosaurus. Yeah, I think so too. I'm a lady of peace. She's got way too much dialogue to get snapped first. Oh, well, see, that would be the subverting expectation things, right? Like, yeah. and these two are forming like a low key, weird, awkward romance. The other guy with slick back hair is too handsome. Yeah, but he's a douchebag. So they're kind of like- He'll die. Yeah. But, <laughs> but not first. They need to have the people that are gonna start like arguing with each other later in the movie and be like, no, that's not what the fuck we should do, Clara. Mm -hmm. But the dweeb isn't gonna do that. No, I'm getting like Josh Hutcherson vibes from this guy. If I knew who that was, that would be a phenomenal analogy. Uh, Bridge of Terabithia, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Hunger Games. You know, you couldn't have chosen three titles. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have helped more. <laughs> well, I thought like maybe just by the the meme of Five Nights at Freddy's, you would have gotten that. No, what's funny? I'm looking at photos of him. No clue who this man is. Man, it's a little upsetting because oh, as boring as Don't Look Back was, at least it had like bad acting. Don't look away. See, that's that's how unmemorable that movie is. <laughs> <laughs> at least it had bad acting that was really funny. Very very rarely. So far, it's not. There's this isn't bad at all. No, genuinely no. And this is honestly the perfect setup for just cringe dialogue. True. A, a, gr a group of fucking vloggers. Mm -hmm. It's just like amateurish filming, like filmmaking, you know? Yeah, but so far, I'm still dialed. Remember, before you tell them to smash that subscribe button, it's been moved to the lower right-hand corner. Okay? <laughs> a YouTuber definitely had his hands in this. And I'm your host. This guy sucks at filming. <laughs> yeah. Good thing he's not getting paid. The following order. Cool shirt. <laughs> I was about to point out. I just first time I saw the wolf on there. You must keep your eyes closed and your mouth shut. Whatever you do. Ooh, on the fly, huh? Mm -hmm. If you see her or talk to her. Get one of them in frame, please. <laughs> Taste the healthy. Ooh. Oh, all right. I told you. <laughs> He's the assaulter. You know, I didn't weigh in the boss. If he goes along with them, he might die first. Oh, true, true, true. I wonder if life is just an endless loop of creation and destruction, and hell is the realization that we're powerless to alter the course. It's okay. funny, because that was dark. It's funny, because he has a wolf on his shirt. Inside you, there are two wolves. I wonder if life is just an endless loop of creation and destruction. <laughs> Four. The first floor to the fourth no, floor, 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 floor is first. Press four. I was wrong. This 
as hell. <laughs> he had that one in his back pocket ready to go. <laughs> uh, did you get that, Maddie? Should we mention that girl? Probably not. A little distasteful. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Smash the subscribe button on the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Right. Right-hand corner. I'll fix it in post. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> AI. <laughs> the lower right hand corner of your screen. <laughs> Sex, anyone? <laughs> this guy rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Pig. And you're just usually a lot more chatty on camera. He hasn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's just finish this, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Did he just like shoulder check her? Mm -hmm. Why does he feel like he's above this? This is like not a long shoot. Getting paid for it, what does it matter? And this is seems like what they do. They talk about ghostly Shit. I know. I, like, kick him off the team. How many times does he need to assault you guys and, and suck? <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the stairs. What? No, no, no. You're the cameraman, shitter. Uh, I was going to say it's kind of funny that there was such a stir about the sponsor issue and the gr only girl that's wearing a shirt uh, isn't even on yeah, camera anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. For the majority of the video. So they lost the footage? I I'm confused. I guess the little tool she was using to what? monitor everything was also well, recording. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, 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 I it doesn't make any sense. Do it again. Put all the gear in the elevator this time. I mean, you gotta do it again, right? Yeah, or else they lose the funding. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You've got a sponsor video to, <laughs> to do. You don't really have a, much of an option. Unless you have anything else that you can throw together Chris in under a week. Chris is just afraid that this is all gonna tie him back to Becky. What? The girl who went missing. Chris knows her. Oh. Okay. I was about to say, that's a conclusion I didn't think about. She's a huge fan of the show, and then you hooked up with her. Who? You dog. How do you know that? Yeah, how do you know? I'm her brother. I watched it. Oh, oh. She told you how much she loved the show. And then you had sex with her. <laughs> you know, she was just a freshman. Oh. Wait, is he a pedophile? Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I don't know how old he is. Come on, man. You had sex? Ew. I was in high school then. Oh, okay. High school was a month ago. You hooked up with Becky and then you ghosted her. Ghost. You told her to play it and record it. That, that you'd put it up on the web and make her famous. Now she's the ghost. But I need your help finding her. I was about to say, I think that's why. He wants to understand what it really is. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. What do you have to stand on? <laughs> you are fucking pathetic. So you actually think that she's lost in the fucking red world? Chris is a total asshole and he deserved this, but you lied. But and used all of us. There is no way. He didn't lie. He gave you, he was giving you content. Who gives a shit? And I am. Really sorry about your sister. But you lied. <laughs> How did he? I guess you could say lie by omission, but he didn't have to tell you he was a sister. He didn't owe you guys anything. He was unpaid. I'm so confused. I, I I don't understand the team turning on this guy when the guy that we said sucked actually sucked and was a pedophile manipulator and like inadvertently killed his sister. Just a certified groomer and then the last guy to have contact. Look, what am I supposed to do? Not fuck her. <laughs> I just want to talk. That's it. Is he calling to apologize or what is he doing? Is he trying to fuck her? That's my question. Like, did they have a thing or are they related? <laughs> Chris with a K. Oh, Chloe with a C. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. It's a hospital? What is this? <laughs> it looks very weird, right? Is this like a warehouse? What the fuck? <laughs> Curious to see what the budget for this movie is. I, I was about to say, although better than most at this level, that was the first time I thought of the budget. <laughs> it's exactly my thoughts. Exactly. Like when it showed the face of the woman and then like showed like the little blood on his jeans or whatever. It reminded me of those Yorona knockoffs. <laughs> yeah. Well, our first kill guesses went to straight down the shitter because they didn't stay in the elevator. I did think that he was going to die first, but you kind of talked me out of it. Oh, it's my fault. You said he's too handsome. <laughs> I mean, yeah, which uh, it's just a statement that aged like milk, <laughs> considering what we learned. I mean, he did point out where the logo was. I couldn't find it at first. <laughs> it's the only thing on the shirt. It wouldn't have happened to have grabbed a camera from the elevator. Yeah, she left something. I figured there was going to be something that brings him back. Becky with an I at the end. I know, Interesting choices I know. on the names. Also, that guy was at a bus stop. That was a really nice bus stop. The dweeby dude. I thought it was the douche. Oh, no, the douchebag's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Yo, IRP. He's a good guy. <laughs> Is this guy short? I was trying to figure that out as well. I can't I can't gauge anyone's height. 
Josh Hutcherson is short. Mm. Oh, now I know who you're talking about. <laughs> so it takes him up to 10. Okay, so it's supposed to take you to 10, right? Yeah, and then that's where you go into the nether realm. So you're not supposed to die, I guess. As long as you don't look. She looked, right? His sister looked. Yeah, that's why she died. Oh, yes. Oh, so she's definitely dead. I was over here thinking like, oh, maybe he's going to reunite with her. I forgot. She, she should be dead. Right. Should be. Does, does he know the steps? Are there like certain rules you have to follow here? I, I guess not. I guess just... Hey, this is the lobby that we're in. It's just red. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah. Well, now what? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> I guess the point is to look uh, for his sister. <gasps> X. That means it's evil. So, is it abandoned? Is, like, everyone's evil version here? Are there <laughs> demons throughout? This is, like, the evil mirror world. Oh, there she is. Becky? Becky? Oh, goodness. That a boy. Hello? I was just gonna say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know about you, I would be running a lot faster than that. Ooh. Yeah, that was a very comfortable jog, Maddie. Ooh. Ooh, they got a little contortionist here. That was cool. Hey, uh, can I get a hand? I got these little T-Rex arms. I can't really. Uh... Say it, say it. You ain't even got arms. <laughs> <laughs> so far, that other girl is just completely written out of the movie. Uh, yeah, I guess she's going to be visited by the woman, though, right? Oh, yeah, true. And the Dork, who the fuck knows? Come on, spill it, Kev. Oh, wait, are they doing it right now? Yeah. Why? She said for fun. Oh. Good cover. Good cover. Well, you're still alive. No. Ooh, foreshadow, foreshadow. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I know. I love how he doesn't even like put anything against the door. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, there's a no. chair there, a table. <laughs> oh, they're looking. They're not supposed to look behind them though. No, there's, they're supposed to keep their oh, eyes closed. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to look. Oh, did you see the hand on the wall? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Okay. Get foreshadowed, bitch. Yeah, the the audio is a little goofy. But yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not weighing it too too heavily against it. First guy sucked so hard they spent none of the budget on him. <laughs> Get your finger off the door. I don't even think you're still being chased at this point, buddy. Oh, there she is. Close. Get your hand off the door. <laughs> Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten you twice so far. I mean, yeah, you didn't even hear her like open the door or anything. It just immediately <laughs> yeah. cut to that, her running at the camera. Okay, so Tommy and Tommy? <laughs> what was the name of Joshy? <laughs> I don't know. But I know Chris. No, Chris is dead. Chloe, the amazing. Chloe, the amazing, has been reading about his dead sister for the last two hours while jamming to My Chemical Romance. Oh. She's yeah, she's still on that page. She sounds like a sweet girl. <laughs> Wait, that was another tab with the elevator <laughs> game on the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, I couldn't even do this. Like read about creepy shit, headphones blasting music, my back, back to the to door. The door. That's not. the biggest thing. Fuck no. Yeah. What do you think the music is gonna like blare in her ears or turn into something creepy? Or neither? I think it's gonna be a fake out and it's gonna be the main guy, Maddie, pulling up to her apartment. I don't know. Those were the long fingers again. I mean, she's not going to die right now. No. You and your friends are in danger. They're dead. Not in danger. Yeah, they're all dead. Except Dorky. Oh, Dorky lasted the longest. Oh, yeah. He's still alive. I guess he was the smartest. Yeah. Unless they disrespect him and they just, like, come across his body somewhere else. They're, they're, they're going to... Oh, okay. So he's still see, see at the really nice bus stop from, like, fucking Germany. Yeah, it's like a climate control bus stop. Oh. Darknet. Man. I just hope they can meet their sponsor deadlines. <laughs> hey, <shit>. fuck <laughs> he say fuck yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a fair reaction. <laughs> it's the guy from Don't Look Away. <laughs> can I help you? Oh, all of a sudden we've gone into a sitcom. He's short. I have mace. What? The I'm so confused why she's upset. He didn't lie. I'm so confused. The red world, the fifth floor woman, the entire goddamn game is real. Okay, I need you to go. I wish they had found a cooler thing. Name for it? Yeah, not red world. <laughs> Just, I'm thinking of like Mario the whole time. <laughs> Bowser's castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he literally has footage of her friends dying. <laughs> no. We need to take this to the police. We can finally make the deadline. I'll put this immediately. <laughs> the police gave up on finding Becky. Even my parents. 
gave up on finding. Yeah, but you have footage. <laughs> like, if you lost someone that close to you, wouldn't you do anything to help find them? Yeah, she kind of just did. Right now, I'm more concerned with making sure my friends are okay. Pretty sure you just watched a video of them dying. <laughs> I don't think they're okay. <laughs> what is all this? Oh, no, Maddie. No, that's good. Oh, it's like that episode of SpongeBob. Wait, where is he? He's dead. I think they still got him. No, there's a laptop in the middle. I think he's going to Skype him. He's going to Skype him? Is that what he said? Do you have to drag your feet when you walk? Why is he acting like he's crazy? He literally just went to another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually did open the door. Exactly. The fuck is that? Like a mini MRE? No, no, it's the sponsor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he just dipped his finger in it and licked it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Did you go in? Why would you do that? He thought he could find his sister. She's dead. <laughs> they took one of the girls into an office building and they locked her into the elevator ship. How do you lock someone in? Oh, oh, the shaft. Okay. <laughs> oh, the shaft. <laughs> Ah, why would you ever? Ah, oh, she's the monster. I think so, yeah. But that isn't what killed her. Oh, X, okay. So, I'm not, you know, in this situation, but I feel like my course of action would just be continually to kick the door and not scratch the bricks. Yes. <laughs> all these years of doing this and you still don't believe it. Because it's never fucking real. It's all stories people made up because they're afraid of the finality of their own death. Did she forget the video? Is this crazy? Like, what? They're, they're very much ignoring the slaughtering of their friends on camera. Wait, I don't even think that this guy knows. Does Dweeb know? Probably not. What do we do about it? Can't call the cops on a ghost. I feel like each of their individual feelings and motives, like, just flipped at <laughs> the drop of a dial. I know. <laughs> I'm giving this five more minutes, and then I'm going <laughs> I thought she was going to say five stars. I don't know why. <laughs> this interaction? You saw what was on that camera. It doesn't mean that they- <laughs> I like the little pinch fingers. Give it to him. What is that song? I don't know. Probably heard it somewhere. I heard it too. When I was there, she was humming it. The elevator song. It's a nursery rhyme my mom used to sing. You've heard it before, right? Scout, verify. <laughs> What? what kind of nursery rhyme is about an elevator? We have to play again. We have to step out into her world. And, and then we ride again. Th that's how we close the doors. <laughs> yes, <it>. What? <laughs> They're fucking high five like they just won well, oh. the championship. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Let's knock her out. Right, right, right. And then uh, Chloe, you can stop humming. We got it. <laughs> oh. Guys, that's not me. That's not me. Oh! <laughs> get in the salt, get in oh, the salt, get in the salt. She's on the ground, did you see her? I would have made the circle bigger so she's not so close to you. <laughs> Fair. The elevator goes up. Stop, you're scaring me! Well, he's back up, dude. <laughs> he's so close. Put those things away. Uh, okay, it's, 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 it's a fake out. And it does not fly about And there's a fake out. Oh, 3D. I mean, we knew it was just going to be these two at the end, but... But, do we be lasting so long? Props. Yeah. And honestly, very funny that I thought he was a nothing character for like the first half of the movie, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they were just like, yeah, just unleash your acting chops for the second half. They didn't really give him much in that first half. Yeah, I know. That's why it's just weird that they flipped it completely. Oh, so they have to do the elevator game again. But I told you kids not to come back here. No, we have to just get us. I don't want to hear it. Get your asses out of the building. Peggy's going to shoot him. She's going to push him out and lock the door. She's going to push out that six foot five man. Yep. I've given you this chance once already. I'm calling the cops. Pet is gonna pull out a weapon. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, she's got mace, remember? So here's the thing. They get this sorted, and then they go to jail. <laughs> Correct. I thought it was gonna be, like, turn really dark, and she was gonna make him do the elevator game. <laughs> Just kill him. And we don't look back. Ever. Chloe. Over or under on whether they kiss? No, they definitely have to. I'm gonna bet on the under. I think just a big long hug. I bet they do, and they um they take over the YouTube channel and change it to a couple vlogging channel. So what do they do about the dead bodies? Like right, they just gone? Oh, the ones in the elevator, right? There wasn't like a crime scene. You know, don't look seems like a pretty easy task unless they try to like lure him in with like his little sister's voice or some shit. I know, just keep your eyes closed. It's not that hard. There's no pressure. I guess like if you felt or like saw like shadows move over your eyes, you would like or felt a presence near you. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess yeah. But like life or death scenario, you know, I, I I can keep the puppies closed. There it is. So now she sees that it's real. So this is the red world I was in. Let me show you around. So there's a big X in the sky. And there's one woman that lives in this entire world. Worst case scenario, just hide behind this chair. Oh no, he's going to be like, Becky, that's my sister. I can't leave. 
It's Becky. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's like just a vague shadow on the window. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> He's gonna do something stupid. Yeah, yeah I feel. Like. Oh, I mean, someone's got to do something. <laughs> the movie can't just end like that. Hi, Becky. Uh, oh, <laughs> they're gonna go to the basement. Thoughts? Thoughts on going to the base? Oh, stopped on the fifth. Okay, never mind. Someone fucked it up. So I'm confused. What's so special about the fifth floor? Well, uh, five is the devil's number. Oh. No, I just lied. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I have no idea. Oh, maybe they need to go all the way to the bottom to uncrush that's, her. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. It, like, going to the shaft, like the elevator shaft makes sense. I think they have to open that door oh. to, like, finally oh. unlock her. Oh, she opened- What? Ryan. No. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. Okay. It's just going to be like the next douchey crew yeah. trying to do the trick or what? Ghost girl 93. <laughs> Let's start by going to four. I hate that that got me. Got a little mini jolt in my body. Two movies that <laughs> we've watched. That was the first <laughs> jump I've had the entire time. I'm, I'm confused on the ending of Tad. So because he went through the game, he was reunited with Becky? Like it was a, was that supposed to be a happy ending? It sucked. See, it's, it, it, <laughs> Chloe kept her eyes shut. Right, like, right. did the right thing. As soon as she opened her eyes, she just blew up. Yes. And then he opens his eyes. Shitter opened his eyes, too. His sister had some, like, influence? I don't think his sister had any influence, but I don't like that he... Look, he reunites with her. It's supposed to be a happy ending because he survived. He listened, but then was Chloe just doomed to die? Then I don't think so. I didn't think so. The ending, uh, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just doesn't. I think the whole thing is like they can't leave, <laughs> right? Like they're just like wrong about how the game works. So there was no way to close it. It's an endless loop, and you're supposed to be stuck in hell. Uh, that's that's my guess. Is like once you start it, like you're you're doomed. So there was no actual way to get out of it but at the end of it he did happen to find becky who's now in the red world yes which is weird because she played it wrong she should be dead but maybe once you die you get thrown into the red world and you're like a w- weird zombie because it wasn't like she was there all yeah frolicking, like oh my god brother she was like back to him look to the side maybe anyone that's died on the elevator is there so would that mean her friends are there too or anyone that is killed by the woman because if that's the case then that means uh what's her face should be there and it should mean that that the uh, assaulter the pedophile should also be there they probably didn't really know where to go with that they were just one of those things where like we'll let you connect the dots i feel like there could have been a cooler like they could have still had that ending right and chloe still could have died i guess that's that's not the worst thing in the world i like the head explosion having a more resolute ending because it was like too vague you know what i mean it's just like oh i just want to know why like why is he still there why is he still stuck in the game. I, well, I mean, this is a real thing, right? Is it? Not like as it's real, but like there's a thing. It, it is a like kind of like a creepy pasta kind of thing, right? I, I I haven't heard of it. Yeah, I, I think it's a thing. It's like an actual kind of creepy pasta kind of deal, and they just took from that what's already out there and just put it into the movie. I mean, I, I guess, yeah. What did you think of what the movie in general? Yeah. For what could have been very annoying with really bad characters and really bad dialogue. I don't know if this is because we're fresh off the last movie. That is very true. I was about to have to address that because right now, as I, I watch this, I'm like, that was a pretty good movie. But I think <laughs> yeah. I think the last one was just so bad that anything that has any like sort of competency, I'm thinking is just great. It is possible that we're very biased right now, but I think it's, honestly, I think it's just inoffensive. Yeah. For what it is, for what I'm assuming is a small budget, it's a it's a cool little fun movie yeah but the ending is the most annoying part to me yeah by far all right well that's uh elevator game subscribe healthy greens 10 percent off bye bye, bye.